can hurt Loving can hurt sometimes But it's the only thing that I know When it gets hard You know it can get hard sometimes It is the only thing that makes us feel alive We keep this love in a photograph Spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you and your joy be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Dear friends in Christ, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ngayon pa lang binabati na kayo ni Father, Nanay Lulu, Tatay Ray. Congratulations and best wishes on your 60th wedding anniversary. Palakpakan natin ang ating magre-renewal. Isn't it a wonderful day? Isang tulog na lang and it's the fourth Sunday of Advent. That's tomorrow. Not only that, it's Christmas Eve. It's also tomorrow. Amoy na amoy na natin ang Pasko. Punong-puno na tayo ng kagalakan. And it's more wonderful because today is your renewal of your wedding vows. Narinig niyo yung gospel, Kuya Ray, Nanay Lu. Sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, I am sharing you this so that your joy may be complete. Ano pang hahanapin niyo? Full joy. Bless na bless kayo ng Panginoong Diyos. Kung nagsimba po kayo kanginang umaga is the naming of John the Baptist. At narinig ninyo, na ang Yehohanan, Yohanes, ibig sabihin, Yahweh is gracious. Talagang napakabuti ng Diyos. Mapagpala ang Diyos. God is good and He is good all the time. Lalo na sa inyo, nanay, tatay. Nung pumasok ka doon, tumatayo mga balahibo ko, nanay. Lalo nung magtagpo na kayo doon and then teary-eyed ka, Sino magsasabing 60 years na? Parang hindi halata, ha? Nadaig ninyo, nanay, si Liza Soberano at Enrique Hill. 
wala talaga sa edad yan eh. Alam mo yung edad eh, nasa utak lang eh. Pag tinignan mo yung kanilang kasiyahan, parang kasiyahan ng mga teenagers. 60 yet wedding anniversary. Kaya ang akin paalaala na lang nanay eh. Sino ba naman ako para mag-sermon pa sa inyo? Dapat ako ang mas nakikinig sa inyo. Una, kapag ka tayo ay eh, nagre-renewal, ipinapaalala sa atin ang kahalagahan ng pakikinig sa isa't isa. Listening. And this time, it's more different. Kasi nga, Ngayon ang pakikinig, nando na sa realm ng pahiwatig, paramdam, na minsan kahit ang hawak ng kamay, ang danti sa balikat, maaaring ibig sabihin an invitation for intimacy o maaaring invitation for solitude. Pag nagkakaitad na tayo, dapat mas malakas ang pakiramdam natin. Mas marunong tayo makiisang loob sa ating partner. Kasi ang mga mag-asawa, kaya minsan nagkakasira, hindi sila marunong makinig. Ang sabi ng isang philosopher, love begins with listening. Or the other name of love is knowing how to listen. Kaya nga daw dalawa ang ating tenga. Isa lang ang ating bibig. So that we will listen twice bago pa tayo magsalita. Kaya lang ang mga mag-asawa kanya-kanyang salita eh. Kaya hindi nagkakaintindihan. Kaya nag-aaway, they seldom listen to each other. Pag nagtagpuhan naman, pag nagkasamaan ng loob, withdrawal, silence, pinarurusahan ng isa't isa, sa hindi pag-inig, sa hindi pag -kibo. You should know how to listen, Nanay Lourdes. Mas hawakan mo ang kamay ni Kuya. Mas matuto kang makinig, Kuya Ray, kay Nanay Lourdes. Alam mo minsan, yung mga mas kailangan natin, hindi na natin ma-verbalize hindi na natin masabi. Again, the value of listening. The other one is offering, self-offering. Naalala ko lagi yung kladag ring. Yung kladag ring natagpuan eh sa isang lumubog na barko. Ang daming treasures na nakuha. And among them is a kladag ring. They call it the kladag ring. Nung tingnan nila yung ring, may naka-inscribe doon sa singsing at ang nakasulat, I have nothing more to give. Naibigay ko na lahat eh. Such is the meaning of the sacrament of marriage. Pag tumayo ka sa altar, nanay, 60 years ago, is a self-giving. Tatay is a self-offering. Ibigay mo ang sarili mo araw-araw Ano pat sa huling bahagi ng iyong buhay, when you are judged, you will tell the Lord, Lord, I have nothing more to give because I have given my all. Binigay ko na sa aking mister, sa aking naging mga anak, sa aking pamilya, siya ang highest priority ng aking buhay. Ano pat yun din ang masasabi mo, tatay? I have nothing more to give. Lahat-lahat ibinigay ko na sa aking misis. Napakahalaga yon Offering. Ang ikatlo is respect. Kuminsan kasi kaya nag-aaway ang mag-asawa, nawawala yung napaka-basic respect sa isa't isa. Alam mo yung respect nang galing sa salitang re, meaning again, espectare, to look. 
Kaya when you respect someone, you look again. Look again and you will discover he is a child of God. With dignity, you are a child of God. With dignity, ganun din ang gospel kangina, si John the Baptist. Naruroon ang presensya ng Diyos. Mahalaga yung respect. Naging missionary si Father sa Thailand. Alam mo yung mga Thai people, pag nag sila, magbabaw sila. Tinatawag nilang why. It's a sign of respect sa sino mang taong makakasalubong mo. Kahit yung mga Africans, pag nagkikita-kita sila, sila din nagbabaw, napakalalim. Parang sinasabi, the sacred in me greets the sacred in you. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng respect. Lalo na pag nirirespeto natin ang isa't isa, ang gusto natin, ang nararamdaman natin, ang mas pangarap natin. Mahalaga yung respeto sa isa't isa. Hindi lang yon. Ang ikaapat ay the feeling of no regrets. Yung iba kasi matapos magpakasal, parang nagsisisi. Parang gusto nang isa uli. May mga ganon. Kasi naman minsan parang nadidisip tayo. Nung nililigawan ka, bait-bait. Ganyan ang mga lalaki. Nung nililigawan ka pa, bait-bait. The best food forward. Pag nakasama mo na sa isang bubong, parang gusto mo nang isa uli. Kaya lang nanay, ngayon mo pa ba isa sa uli? Hindi na, wala na. No regrets. Saka, Walang dahilan sapagkat walang dahilan para siya'y isa uli mo. No regrets and instead, a feeling of gratitude. Sabi nila, gratitude is the memory of the heart. The more you thank the Lord, the more you will be blessed. Lalong pupunuin ng Diyos ang inyong mga puso. Hindi ba napakaganda Nanay Lourdes, na sa araw na ito na sasabi mo sa Panginoong Diyos, Lord, salamat po ang ibinigay mo sa akin si Ray. Bless na bless ako. Hindi ba nasasabi niyo, Kuya? Lord, salamat po. Bless na bless ako kasi ang ibinigay mo sa akin si Lourdes. Kaya kayo dito, lalo na kung kayo'y single, pagdasal ninyo yung partner nyo, hindi sapat yung nagkaasawa. Ang dasal niyo, Lord, please give me the right one. Your gift for me. Sapagkat ang mapapangasawa mo dapat yung bigay ng Panginoong Diyos sa iyo. 60 years ago, you received the best gift ever in your life. Ang Diyos kasi kung mamiyaya, Only the best for you, Lord, is ang ibinigay niya sa iyo, si Kuya Ray. The best gift of your life you received 60 years ago. Kung mamigay ang Diyos, kung magregalo siya, only the best, si Nanay Lourdes. Ang prayer ko ngayon, Nanay Lourdes, Tatay Ray, sana ang blessing niyong natanggap sa inyong buhay ma-extend sa inyong dalawang anak. May mga apo na po ba kayo? Limang apo sa tuhod. Alam mo, nanay, yung mga readings ng simbang gabi, wala nga daw imposible, kahit nga si Elizabeth, baog pa yon matanda na, nagkaanak pa. Kaya nanay, may promo ako. Pag nagkaanak pa kayo, ha, libre ang binyag. Hindi ang panalangin na lang natin, lalo pang pagpalain, lalong-lalo na, ang inyong mga mahal sa buhay, ang inyong mga apo. Muli, punong-puno ng kagalakan si Father, and I share your joy and your gratitude to God. Lord, please continue to bless Nanay Lourdes, Tatay Ray, as we begin the renewal of your vows. 
May I ask Monsignor Peter to please accompany me here for the renewal of vows of Nanay and Tatay. fidelity to Rinaldo before God and this community? Yes, I do. Please pray now together the prayer for God's blessing. Consent which you have renewed before him and before the church, which I and this community represent. And may Almighty God bless you now and continue blessing your union, Ray and Nanay Lourdes, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We will now bless your rings and your eyes. Lord, bless these rings, symbol of their love and fidelity to each other. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless this are symbol of material possessions, possessions we are, which you are giving to the couple Ray and Lourdes. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kunin nyo na po tatay ang singsing para kay nanay. Is 
susuot ay susuot niyo po kay nanay ha nagmamadali si tatay oh. Oh, oh. dandan lang tatay ha oh. so yun po sabihin niyo po Lourdes wear this ring wear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit As a sign of my love and loyalty. As a sign of my love and loyalty. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Punin niyo po itong mga aras, tatay. Salungin mo nanay, dalawang kamay na. Baka mapunta pa sa iba. Oo, yan. Bibigay mo sa kanya lahat. at ng sweldo mo o ano man. Sabihin mo, tatay, please tell Nanay Lourdes, Lourdes, Lourdes. I give you this are. I give you this are. Are. As a pledge of my dedication to your welfare in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Please respond. And I accept. Dear friends, you have now Tatay Ray and Nanay Lourdes renewed your wedding vows. Congratulations and best wishes. More blessings to you. Palakpakan po natin ang bagong kasal. It would be good to the principal is sponsor. Kindly give your blessings to the principal. Marami nakakaalam dito na nagkakilala sila nung mga dalaga na sila. But that's not true. So, when my dad was about 10 years old and my mom was probably about 7 years old, ang daddy ko po, as you know, mahilig mag-share ng sapatos. Daddy, show your shoes. Para ating makita ba ang sapatos niyan. Kaya nung bata pa po yan, sila ng kapatid niya, na si Tito Jun. Saan Tito Jun? Tito Jun, you know this story, di ba? Okay, so nung bata pa po sila, Si Tito June at saka ang daddy ko, 
para to earn a little money for school, pumupunta yan sa mga bahay-bahay around the neighborhood para mag-shine ng sapatos. And one of his favorite house na pinupuntahan nila ang bahay ng mami ko. Kasi not only ang papang ko, ang lolo ko, maraming sapatos na pinapasyay, and also because ang nagdadala ng sapatos paglabas ang mami ko. And one day, sabi ng daddy ko sa Tito Jun, someday, yan ang gusto kong mapangasawa. And ladies and gentlemen, look where they are right now. So, okay, let's, let's, what, okay, let's all stand up and I'll do the toast. So, to you, mommy and daddy, you are a perfect example of true love. And being happily married to each other for this long is truly one of a kind. So to you, may the love and affection that brought you together stays in your hearts forever. Congratulations. Happy 60th wedding anniversary. I love you both. Mabuhay ang bagong kasal. Lala and Lolo. <laughs> Congratulations po. Ayan, while you are enjoying your meal, syempre isa-serenade ko po muna kayo. Ayan, sana po magustuhan ninyo. If you feel like dancing, you can get your partner. Kayo po. <laughs> There's a ring in my vow The only thing that's fine My first love Your every breath that I take Your every step I make And time Pang sumaya, pwede. Two hearts Two hearts that we as one Our lives has just begun And forever I hold you close Resist your charms 
Sorry po, may next song pa. <laughs> Request po ito ni Lola. Ayan, sana po magustuhan ninyo. Kung nakaka-relate po kayo, pwede kayong sumabay sa akin. Pwede kumuha ng mic. <laughs> Ayan. Handa po kayo kasi po, kalapit po ako sa inyo, kayo po yung kakanta. Si Lola. much, Ms. Jamil Du. Uh, now to give us another song number, may we call on Mr. Gabriel Ramos. Magandang araw po. Uh, congratulations po on your 60th uh, wedding anniversary. Ano ba yan? <laughs> Ngayon pa inatake. But um, gusto ko lang i-share yung heart ko na to be honest, sobrang overwhelmed po ako. Ngayon lang ako naka-attend ng ganitong klase. I mean, um, makarating sa ganyang taon. Excited po ako na ma-share ito sa mga kaibigan ko para ma-inspire sila na totoong magmahal. So, itong song ko po, hindi man ito yung nire-request niyo sa akin na kantahin. Um, I hope na magkaroon, maging inspirasyon pa rin po sa inyo at sa lahat na nakaririto para po sa inyong lahat.
Ko na po dahil minsan lang tayo magkasama-sama. So, um, here's another song po para po sa inyo.
Another round of applause for our two wonderful performers. So busy organizing a big, big party, bonga. And I asked her, what's the party for? Ha, di bu ni lulu. So wine was flowing and my papa, he loves white label. That's the most famous drink at that time, okay, and then a few months later, my papang was reaching again for the bottle of white label. Wow, there must be a celebration. But I noticed that it was only my papa who was drinking. He kept on drinking and drinking and drinking. And then my mama was shouting, Call Dome! Call Dome! And who is Dome? Dome is our, my uncle, who is also our doctor physician. Why? Your papa, he's dead drunk. Why is he dead drunk? Why? Because your Lulu left and went with Rene. And so, after a few months, around December, I think, my mama is again organizing a big party. What for? It's the wedding of my sister, Lulu. And that was in the year December 21, 1957. And there were several years I had leave to go to the States. But around that 10 years that I was with them, their marriage was kind of a little, not very happy, happy but not very well. There were lots of struggles, arguments, maybe fighting. But as you know, it's like the sandpaper. The more there is friction, the more you kiss, kiss, smoother it went. And those struggles and hardship was the foundation of a very nice wedding. I like, I need to say. And they were blessed with two kids, Sunny and Jingjing. And you see, everybody, how these kids are now. So they said that the kids are the reflection of the parents, why they grow up this way, because they grow up in a home that is full of love and care for everybody. 
and I will end my little story with a caption that I just read. And I quote, Always happy, forever, and always. I love you both, Lulu and Kuya Rene. Thank you very much. Now may we hear from one of the bride sisters, Mrs. Henidina Otadoy. Ako na naman. Sabi daw, wag daw ako maging Ingles. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Magandang hapon. Ah... Huwag maging English. Ang hirap naman kasi mag-Tagalog eh. Anyway, if I may share also my story. Yeah! Lulu always tells me, two years old ka pa lang nang kaya hindi kita flower girl eh. Liit-liit mo pa. Well, so you should know how old I am now. If they are celebrating their 60th anniversary. Huh? What? <laughs> anyway, uh, Reni, Lulu, I share your joy. Talagang bihirang bihira ang nakakarating sa ganitong uh, pagkakataon. So you are truly blessed with your two kids na pogi-pogi, sabi nila. <laughs> two, two gentlemen and your uh, mga uh, chikiting. Talagang, you have so much blessings. And uh, sana, pag, ano, pagdating ko sa ganyang edad, eh, kasing ganda mo rin ako. Kasi, <laughs> kasi magkamukha daw kami. So, uh, you're, all, you're always beautiful, my tanda sister. <laughs> oh. And to Kuya Reni, thank you very much for taking care of my sister. Na hanggang ngayon ay beauty beauty pa rin. At saka ikaw din naman, medyo nag, nag ano lang yung buhok. <laughs> Bakit hindi kayo nagbabago. So, uh, yun lang. I wish you more years, happy years together, more blessed years. Uh, and uh, yun, thank you and congratulations, best wishes. I love you both. Sisters, Miss Maria Victoria Lapus. My turn. Hi, from Australia. Good day, Mike. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> if Emmet is two years old that time, I am one month old. Just imagine. I just was born then. And on my 11th monthsary, I'm already an auntie. <laughs> For that long, I have witnessed my sister and Kuya Reni's, you know, togetherness. Their love, their respect to one another. Maybe people say young marriages doesn't last long. Well... It's not true. You just imagine, Kuya Reni and Lulu, their love, their respect to one another. Oh, may God's abundant blessing be yours. I wish you good health. I love you both. Happy 60th anniversary. Thank you very much. Now, may we hear from Mr. John Aprieto? Is he here? 
Pastor John Aprieto. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as it was mentioned earlier, I'm John Aprieto, um, representing um, Milagros Aprieto side of the family. My parents are here over there at table number four. Um, first off, I would like to thank um, both sides of the family, Delarea, Ramos, Tito Junjun, Tito Sani, Tito Gina, for having us over. Um, of course, uh, Lolo Reni, Lola Lulu, congratulations on your 60th year. Um, it's just, uh, as, as someone mentioned earlier, it was re it's really an overwhelming uh, occasion and a big milestone for you to be able to, to be here and give us this pleasure of celebrating this moment with you. So, congratulations and uh, just wish you all the best for for the whole day and for the next 60 years to come thank you <laughs> thank you very much now may we hear from one congratulations lulu and rene hindi ko matanggihan si sani <laughs> kahit nanginginig ako <laughs> so uh, it was i think 30 years na tayo hindi nagkita. Oh, no. Maliliit pa sila. Mga anak namin magkakalaro. So, I was surprised last December 11, we were celebrating our 52nd anniversary. We saw Sunny and Junjun. And I was proud to say that we were celebrating our 52nd anniversary. But I was surprised when he said that you will celebrate your 60 years, so I was amazed. Talagang God is good all the time, sabi nga ni Father Ariel kanina. So, uh, wish, nasabi na nila lahat, so uh, natatandaan ko lang, we are so happy, ilang couples tayo noon, we are always having bonding with each other, and we are and your favorite song is Tie a Yellow River and Enamorata. Yan. <laughs> so, I wish you more years to come. Sana maabot din namin yung 60 years. So, there is my husband in table number 8, Chico. <laughs> so, uh, thank you very much for inviting us. So, it was God's plan that we saw your son, the para magkita tayo. Happy anniversary. We love you. Thank you very much. Now may we hear from Miss Cory Ramos. umaga while we were there at the church. Talagang uh, ayoko umiyak. <laughs> talagang teary-eyed because this is one of the occasions na talagang first time na na-attendan ko na this is the 60th wedding anniversary of Uncle Rene and Aunt Lulu. Actually, uh, ano lang po ako, ang uh, tunay na pamangkin po nila ay yung husband ko who died 21 years ago. At sabi ko kami, hindi nakaabot ng 20 years, after 18 years. But then, God is so good in your life, si Rene and Auntie Lulu, na andito po kayo. At uh, talagang, ako naman po'y saksi rin ng inyong pagsasama since then. Kasi si Sally is very close to the family, especially with uh, Sunny. At nakita ko naman po, Tito June. Ganun po kami naging ka-close. So kahit wala na rin po yung husband ko, sabi ko kay Myra, I'm so thankful na kahit wala na yung asawa ko, you are still remembering us as your family. And I'm happy for that. We're so blessed. And God is so good in our lives. Sabi nga po ni Gab kanina, overwhelming. Sabi ko, I can tell this story to my uh, students kasi I'm still teaching. 
at sa mga ano uh, mga friends kasi sabi ko meron pa palang 60th wedding anniversary at ang masasabi ko lang po ay good health pa rin for you both and uh, still have many more years of togetherness at patuloy pong ang Panginoon ang maging sentro ng buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Salamat po si Rene Auntie Lulu sa mga anak, kay Sunny, kina Kuya Junjun. Uh, salamat po sa mga kamag-anak na naririto for celebrating with Uncle Rene and Auntie Lulu. God bless us all and good afternoon to everyone. Thank you very much. And for our last well-wisher, may we call on Mr. Abilino Kapintil. Maraming naniniwala na ang pag-ibig ng isa't isa ay is not forever. Pero sa dalawang kumpare o sumari o si Brother Ray at si Sister Lo, they are proving na mali kayo, mali tayo. So, as long as we stick together, love together, and God is always with you, there is love together. Alam mo si kumpari Ray, saka si Bari Ray, kumpari, ang kumari Lolo, ang iniyan ko sila yung sila kanina sa patos. Kanina, sinasahin ko yung sa patos ko. Gusto ko malaman ni father, ni Iber brother, ni kumpari na, ang sa patos niya, pareho lang kami ng skin tab. Ha, ha, ha. Pero kita niya, wala. Hindi pa rin makintab eh. Mas makintab pa rin yung sapatos niya. Kasi hindi naman ako nagsasaya na nga. Anyway, uh, sila po ang isa sa mga sponsor ng aking panganay na anak, si Joey and Ruby, one of the sponsors sa wedding. So, siya ang inaanan ko and I'm following his trend. Kasi kami ni Miss Quay, 80 years old na po kami. 55 years wedding na po kami. 5 years na lang po, maging 60 na rin kami wedding. Sabi ko, kanina tinatanong ko kay Monsignor Peter, ano siya sa uh, Diamond Wedding? Hindi ko alam. <laughs> Siguro wala na ba? Yung Diamond Wedding, uh, susundan na pa. Ah, meron pa. So, that's my prayer. Kasi the best binigay niya sa'yo ng ating Panginoon, yung Diamond Wedding. Sana meron pa susunod na wedding po ninyo. At sana naman, sabi ko kay Father, ay kay Monsignor Uh, Peter kanina, uh, Monsignor, pagdasal mo kami, maabot din kayo ng 60 million. <laughs> uh, we are already 80 years old po. At sana na uh, sabi niya, oh, I will pray. Uh, sana makarich kayo ng 60. So with that, uh, congratulations po. I, may I give you the best. Dadasal ko kayo na sana lahat po ay manatili pa kayong healthy in both mind, body, and spirit. Salamat po. Salamat po. for our kids. Thank you, 
for that wonderful number. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, kids. Now, if you could kindly focus your attention to our screen projector uh, so that we can relive the highlights of the day by viewing the same day edit, courtesy of Rule of Thirds by J.R. Salonga. Complete if we will not hear from the couple themselves. No? So let's hear from Tito Reni and Tita Lulu. On this special day of our lives, I'd like first of all to thank the Lord for giving me and my wife, Lulu, this great blessing of being together for all these years. And to all of you who are sharing the joy in the celebration of our 60th wedding anniversary, you all made us to feel so spe special. We are truly honored for your presence and warm wishes. We are so thankful to our wonderful family for their love, support, and generosity. And most especially to our sons, Sunny and Junjun, and our granddaughter, Anna, for their extra effort for arranging such a wonderful and memorable event. Again, thank you. At nais ko sanang batiin din kayo ng isang maligayang Pasko at maligong bagong taon. Malapit na po ang Christmas. Thank you. I just want to add some, some things, some stories too. I didn't expect stories to be hearing from, and, and this really made me made this event very memorable. First of all, from the story of my son Sunny, hindi ko na hindi ko akalain na matandaan niya yung shine ng sapatos, and I, it was really a big surprise for me that he remembered that that it's really the shining shoes, even in uh, uh, well for some who do not know we are really from America and even from America. Ang kanyang bans ang bansat sa kanya, the shining shoes. Kaya I was really very, very happy and uh, I was really surprised when Sunny told me the story about the shining shoes. And for my sister, Helena Otada, uh, Ebet, could you please stand? <laughs> Para makita kanila. You know what? I remember she was telling the story. Oh, I remember that kasi nung araw, it was really, I was really very young at that time. As they said, uh, I was just uh, before we celebrating my debut. And Rennie was already my, my boyfriend. And my parents were kind of strict. So, hindi ako makapagpaalam kung hindi ako magbibigay ng mga reason. And so, I remember one of the reasons para lang ako makaiska po at payagang makipagkita sa kanya because he would wait for me at the, uh, I think that was at USC at uh, Dapitan. He would be standing there. Ang sabihin mga ano mga ka-eskwela ko, Hoy, yung boyfriend mo, kanina pa nag-aantay doon ng kintab-kintab ng sapatos. <laughs> and so, one, I remember one time, um, he said that, Oy, I will have to wait for you there. Kailangan uh, an, 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 magkita tayo doon. E eh, pag nakikita ko si Junior, yung kanyang kapatid na si Unoy, nagtatago ako kasi palaging may sulat sa, sa bulsa yan. Pag binigay yung sulat na kalagay, magkita tayo sa kanto ng dapitan. Kaya pag nakita ko si Unoy, magtatago ako. At that time, hindi ako nakapagtago. So, nakita ko yung sulat. Magkita tayo sa kanto ng dapitan. Ano na sasabihin ko? Hindi na naman ako papayagan. Oh, naisip ko si Ebet. Sabi ko, ma'am, papasyal ko lang po si Ebet sa Blooming Treat. 
And so, pinayagan ako ng mother ko. So, I brought her. She was barely two years old or even less than two. Karga-karga ko pa nga yan eh. So, nang dumating ako doon sa kanto ng dapitan, he was surprised. Sabi niya, eh, ba't mo kasama yung kapatid mo? Pa, paano tayo magde-date? Paano tayo magde-sine? Eh, kasama-sama yung kapatid. <laughs> Kaya lang ako pinayagan para kasama ko siya eh. eh sige, hindi bali na nga. May pasalubong naman siya sa akin. Mga manggang maliliit na. <laughs> But anyway, I really want to thank everybody for your presence. It really made us so special. Talagang... For those who were in church, I couldn't stop the joy. Pagka pala sobrang saya mo, hindi mo mapipigilan ng umiyak. Talagang I was overwhelmed when I see everybody, especially my grandkids. Imagine, apo sa tuhod, the five of them, there are five. Yung isa lang, si Ayela lang, ang naka-experience na ng flower girl. But the four, first timer yan. And I was really surprised kasi tuwing magkikita kami, sasabihin ko, ay, lalakad kayo ha. Ganito ang lakad nyo. Don, don, garan. Sasabihin ng isa, that's Adri. <laughs> Sabi ni Adri, ayaw. Yung isa naman, hmm. yung isa, hahawak ako sa manto. But this, after, this morning, I was really surprised to see them. I was peeping in the window, sabi ng mga coordinators, huwag po kayo magpapakita. Eh, gusto ko silang pay tribute talaga for, to my grandparents. Because uh, everyone is saying that they're really blessed, but um, in reality, we are really the ones who are blessed by, the, by them, by their life. Because, um, alam niyo naman ako, Lola's girl forever. So, um, I just really want to thank you. Kaya, when I knew that they, they wanted to have a wedding and to renew their vows, I really want to have, I really want for them to have like a grand celebration because they really deserve it. So, I hope that you're happy and I'm really happy for the both of you. And whenever I will have problems in my marriage, I will just always think of you and remind myself that It's really possible to have a marriage of a lifetime, and um, yun lang. Thank you, and I love the both of you so much. Hey, oh, daddy. Uncle, yes, makita. Eh, yun na nga, I thought that it would, I would see them in the video. So, I thank all the mamas and the papas of my great-grandkids na talagang and of course everybody, especially those na nanggaling pa sa malayo thank you yung mga nanggaling sa binyang <laughs> thank you and all of you, thank you I wish you all na abutin din ninyo ang 70 and more like us kaya kailangan always be One, ang, ang secret, when we got married, ang sabi, Jesus was the witness. Hindi ba? But you know what we did? We did not leave Christ in church. We brought Christ in our home. Kaya we need this love happily. And thank you. Daddy, for loving me, my endless love. <laughs> And again, uh, I would like also to thank the Lord for keeping us uh, healthy and strong for all these years. And giving us a long, long life. Kaya siguro, malakas pa kami hanggang sa kaya. Dahil sabi nga niya, kung ikasal kami, kasama na namin ng Panginoon. Dala-dala namin hanggang ngayon ang Panginoon sa aking pagsasama. Thank you again. At nais ko rin pasal na mga tangkala si, si Dr. Eric. At saka, teka, at ang kanyang kabiyak si 
Jenny sama semangat tomat ini ke Puyang. Ibu sepunya sama Bu Sultan dengan Dr. Puyang. Saya akan bayar. At, at nais ko rin pasalamatan po ang uh, napakagandang boses na kumang ka sa ating kanina si Jamil. Uh, at saka ang akin po nga po na matagal na kami din nakikita si Gabi Ramos na pupuloy na ng aking kapatid. Thank you Gabi. Thank you sa pamilya ng dumalo ka. 